Hi, how are you today? Welcome to our children's sermon. This is Tuesday, March 23rd. It's already the third day of spring. And we're certainly getting rains that we get in the spring to help things grow, to help things turn green. The grass turns green. The trees turn green. How's your grass doing at your house? I'm a, I'm challenged right now. I'm going to do something today that we need to read things in the right direction. So my camera's backwards today. So I can't see myself. So Lisa's helping me. But then I realized I can't see the comments either. So she's going to have to read those comments to me. Hi, Kibbles are here. The Kibbles are here. Okay, we yeah. found out that uh, Marissa and uh, uh, Colton and Nolan and Kenzie are here. Yeah. Hi. Aaron says good evening. And Aaron's here. Aaron Meyer, good to see you, Aaron. And Marlene says hi from the Bells. Marlene is here, all right. Marlene and the Bells, Darren and Leah and uh, Maya and Mia. And Joey, are you all there? And Carol here. Carol and Carol and Mark probably. So good, good. Yeah, it was kind of a gray day. It was a little chilly, but it wasn't bad for March yet. Looks like March might be coming in or going out like a lion. Came in like a lamb. Who all had school today? Well, let me ask you this. Those uh, children who are here, what's your favorite subject in school? What's your favorite subject? Is it science or is it r reading? Is it math? Is it lunchtime or recess? How about art? Well, Marlene, Cindy's here. Oh, hi, Cindy. And Marlene says the gang's all here. Okay. And Marissa and the kids, they had school today. Okay, everybody had school. And Jennifer Williams. Oh, hello the Williams kids. are here. Uh, Chloe and uh, Gianna. Mm -hmm. And maybe Ava. Maybe not. But Jennifer, certainly. Mama's there. Nolan, so, Nolan likes P.E. Oh, right. Physical education. There you go. Yeah, that's always fun to get out and run and throw the ball and do all sorts of things, exercise. Chloe likes reading. Chloe likes to read. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like to read too, Chloe. I have a whole stack of books I've already read. I can't keep up with myself because mm -hmm. I read them so fast because I like to read so much. So good for you. So Kenzie likes recess. And Kenzie likes recess. There we go. It sounds like those kibbles are are physically active. They like to <laughs> run around. Leah says math and Darren says recess. Okay, there's Darren's another one that likes to, to go, right? Uh, and Maya says reading. And Leah? Leah's, Maya. Did, did you say Leah said something? Leah said math. Leah said math and Maya said reading. So mm -hmm. we have a, a quite a few different ones that people like. Uh, but we're going to learn math today. We're going to do Leah's favorite subject, okay? So here's a math problem. Suppose your dad or your grandpa hired you to mow the lawn. And he said, I'll give you $5 an hour. And it takes two hours to mow the lawn. How much money would you get? So we put our calculator up here. I'm going to move out of the way. Can we see that? Yep. We take $5 an hour. Can you see that 5 up there? 
And we use that little x. We use that little x. That's the times. Okay. And then we go times two hours. And we go equal. It's ten dollars. So you'd get ten dollars for mowing the lawn. Now what are you going to do with that? Well, you might take it to the Dairy Queen or to Grandma Rosie's or some other ice cream place and maybe you'd get an ice cream bar or a dilly bar. And those cost $2.50. So how many of those could you get with your $10? That sounds like dividing. You know which one of these is dividing? Yeah, it's that one right there. So if we got $10 and each ice cream bar costs $2.50, that means we could get four ice cream bars, right? Can you eat four ice cream bars? Oh, I can't. My stomach would hurt. So let's suppose you gave two of those to your brother and sis or sister or both. So you would, which now, which of these symbols would you use? You'd use the minus. And you'd say minus two. And if you gave two away, you'd have two left for yourself. Whew. That's pretty neat. This calculator makes it easy, doesn't it? We can do hard things like let's add up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and find out how much that is. We'll go 1, can we still see it? Yep. Plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Seven. Whoops! That's not a four, is it? That's a seven. I must have made a mistake. Oh, now what am I going to do? Ah, well, these calculators are so neat. They have a clear entry. So, you can just go back and start over right where you left off. And put in the right number... And then 5, and that equals 15. Isn't that neat that uh, the calculator can help you erase your mistakes and you can go back to where it was good again? God does that too with our sins and Lent which is the season we're in, we think of our sins and the things we've done wrong to God and the things we've done wrong to others. And if God added all those up, then he just kept hitting that plus button, right? Because we're not very good sometimes. In fact, a lot of times we're not very good. But what God does, and he tells us in Jeremiah, he says, for I will forgive their sins, and I will remember their sins no more. You see, because Jesus died on the cross for you, and for me, and for all of us, our sins can be forgiven. That means God can push that little clear entry button, and boom. That sin, that number seven that I punched in gets erased. And it goes back to being good again. And that's what God does for us. He punches that button because of Jesus. And we start all over again. And we're fresh and clean. We call that grace. God gives that to us. Because God loves us and he forgives our sins. That's something we remember. Uh, we'll remember this week at Good Friday when we think about Jesus on the cross. 
and how he suffered for us so our sins could be forgiven. But not only that, remember coming, that's next week, by the way, on Easter Sunday, he rose again. So God pushed the clear entry button for Jesus too. And he was no longer dead. He was alive. And because of that, we get new life too. So that's our lesson for today. What do you think? We could, we could put together our religion class with our math class and learn. Isn't that good? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, prepare our hearts to enter this time of thinking about our sins, the season of Lent. Help us to recall how much you suffered for our sins and how much they hurt your heart. But let us also remember that you erase them. You forgive those sins and we start over new, all shiny, with our white robes. Your grace covers our sin in Jesus Christ. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. It was great to have you here this evening. Uh, tomorrow we'll have our our last Wednesday Lenten service, uh, 10 in the morning and at 7 o'clock at night. And then we'll have soup and sandwich supper at 6 o'clock. So if you can come, hey, everybody's welcome. Uh, but uh, also, uh, I want you to remember that this coming Sunday is Palm Sunday. So we're going to have a palm procession with the children. So we want the, all the children, young and old, to be there about five minutes early or so. Don't come too early because then the kids get all antsy and they start running around. and They're hard to herd. They're like cats, trying to keep cats in one spot. You can't do it, can you? So if you come about five minutes early, then we'll gather in the back and uh, they'll get their palms and, and they can follow me on a Palm Sunday parade. I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you are too. Remember now, God loves you, and so do I. Good night.